I suppose that um, uh, with all of us, we, we like a good mystery to solve. We like to explore, we like to go on an adventure. So, so with these games, really, it's, uh, it's about setting a scene. Locations are really important, uh, variety, environment. And uh, for us with uh, Soul Axiom, the way we create mystery is that literally we drop the player in an unusual environment. We, we don't give them no guides of who they are or where they are. And we, ha we give them sort of the respect to, to explore the game and piece together the story. Adventure games for us are about intrigue and not really about spoon feeding the player. They're about uh, sort of easing the player into the game, getting familiar with the world, and then obviously revealing different revelations which drag them through the, the experience. When we plan the structure of the game, it's actually based on a, a film six act structure. So it just means we, we, we plan, even though we know the, the underlying arc of the story, we plan what we think facts people should know in each act so they don't give away too much of the story. Uh, with Soul Axiom, you know, uh, following on from the success of Master Reboot, the visual style was quite key, so we wanted to keep that. As a, as a creative company, we want we to explore new aspects of, of gameplay. In Soul Axiom, we have this uh, power system where the, the player uh, gets powers which follow them through the game. The effects of them, actually how they interact with the environments, that, that was probably our biggest challenge. Dynamic environments, we call them, but basically the, the player can be able to manipulate the environments more with, with, with uh, this power system that we've implemented.